Today we're going to go to Fred Meyer and buy some school supplies. School supplies are important in school because they help you learn. Okay, so one of the things that's good to do while you're shopping for supplies is to look at the unit price. So the unit price is the price divided yeah. by the number or okay. count. So for instance, pencils. Yeah. It says 199. 24 pencils. So you take 199, divide it by 24, and that gives you the unit price. And you want the lowest unit price, and that's the best deal. So I have to get loose this, but there's three, so there's this, these three, they're 229 and there's six, seven of these for only 199 but that's on sale. So it's a better deal. Okay, so we're back. We're back. The kids and I went and got some school supplies. Uh, you just saw my kids help me today. Thank goodness, because I was a little bit lost in there. There were so many good deals at the store. This is kind of the back to school time of year. So a lot of stores in your area will have great sales going on for the items I'm gonna show you. So the first thing I wanna show you is a backpack. It's helpful to have a backpack to kind of bring things uh, to and from school. If you have one from last year, use it this year. It's not a big deal. You can even send it through the wash probably and it'll be brand new and work just fine. So by all means, don't feel like you have to go out and get a new backpack. Okay, another item that I'd like you to have or try to get is a binder. So some sort of binder. This is a, a binder that we use here at the house. It's actually my wife's, but uh, it's about the right size for what you're gonna do in our class. So you need about a two to three inch binder, nothing smaller, and definitely nothing that much bigger than that. Four inch would be too big. So this is, this is a great size. If you get like a trapper keeper, those tend to be too big for where I'm going to have you store them. So I'd rather you have something about this size, okay? And if you get the ones with the plastic sheets on the surrounding it, you can kind of insert some things on the front and that helps you to personalize it a little bit more for yourself. Okay, let's see. Another item that you need is some kind of storage box or a pencil pouch. A pencil pouch kind of looks maybe like this, okay? And you can put things in there that are yours, uh, pencils, crayons, or uh, markers, things like that. So this is a, a storage box. It's a, it's perfect size. Um, it's a used one. So again, used things are great. Then you don't have to go out and buy it again. A uh, couple other things that you're going to need, or at least one of these, you choose either like colored pencils, basic colored pencil set, or a basic uh, markers set. So. You could get both, but uh, one is, one would be fine. Don't have to get crayons. If you do, crayons will work for the year. But uh, So I'd rather or prefer you to have colored pencils or markers. Okay, now a few additional items that are nice, but they're definitely optional, are things like pencils. So I've got a big box of pencils here. I try to provide them for you all year long, but if you bring some in, then uh, I hope that you can share with the class and that will help us to make sure we have good sharpened pencils all school year long. So these are Ticonderoga. They are the world's best according to the box. So a few other things. Uh, paper. Paper is kind of nice. So if you want to get wide ruled paper, that's great. And then you can use that for different things throughout the year. Post-it notes. Sometimes these are useful throughout the year. We don't use a ton of them, but we do use them from time to time. So this is optional as well. Tissue. They call this facial tissue. It's 
basically Kleenex, okay? So this is very helpful throughout the year. Kids oftentimes get runny noses and uh, by spring I generally run out of this stuff. So it's kind of nice to have students pitch in and, and bring something for the school year like this. So facial tissue. And that's it. Now if you cannot get any of these things or a few of these things, then definitely let me know and, and I'll help uh, work that out with you. Because I don't want this to be stressful for you. Sometimes getting supplies you know, might add stress and that's not what I want to do. So if you uh, get, get some things though and you're missing something here and there, please let me know and I'll make sure you're set. This should be an exciting time for you to get ready to start our school year. All right, that's it. We're going to go to the store. Stop. One person at a time. Yeah. Ready? Action. We're going to go to the store and buy some school supplies. And um, they're important because they help you learn. Oh, cut, cut. Yay! We're going to go to the store. Store to get cut. Action. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, oh. action. We're, We're going to go. Again. Off the table. Today we're gonna go to. Soldier! Get off the table.